Okay, we're ready to run the meat now. So just click run, and then you can see here's all the different events. It shows all the athletes down here. And so when you start getting these it, these uh, sheets in from the field events, just go here the final marks and just pop, put in right here this girls pole vault. So for instance, let's say you had a girl that went ten feet, you just dash for feet, five inches, and just hit enter. That's her best one. You just go through the list until you get them all entered down there. Okay, and once you do that, it'll turn purple. So we can just put. We'll just put DQ on the rest of them so you can see how it changes color. If they don't, if they don't get a height or whatever, they don't have. They just click that button right there, and that disqualifies them from that event. If they didn't make the opening height or whatever it was. So, let's do it like this, and then you can hit score right there. It'll score the meat and you print this out and we send that up to the to the people that are doing the ribbons and things like that. You can see we put that one in there. If everybody else is disqualified, you just hit print right there or print right here. And that will score the meat. And then this one turns purple and says we're done with that one. When we get to the races, I'll whenever the race is over with, everything's finished, you can just get them all finished and you hit score. You can hit, I'm sorry, you hit get times right here and then score it. And you can see there's this many heats. In this particular race, eight heats right here, Actually, maybe more. So that's how you do that. You can you can toggle through and see which who's in all the different heats here. You can see them all down there. And when you get that from my cam from the camera, it'll put all the times automatically in there. So that's how you do that on Meek Day.